if you had to prepare someone for going to a race, they've never been to a race before, what do you tell them? Spectator? Yeah. Oh. Bring shorts, flip-flops, and a t-shirt, and a raincoat, and rain pants, and rain boots, and a hat, and lots of water, and then sit in the tent and watch it on TV. <laughs> I don't know, Cindy was just out on track today and I don't think she's really watched a real downhill race. Hey, Monica! And she said it was actually nerve-wracking how fast they're going. You do not see it on TV in any way. Like when you're standing 10 feet away, the, the ground's shaking because somebody on a bicycle's riding by. It's pretty cool. So I think you expect to be a little bit blown away. Oh, I came so far on the drop, but like... Me, 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 me. No, actually, <laughs> you can go ahead because I just oh, want no, to I'm say... Okay. I, st I still have this feeling, but I think it's just a track. You know, like things just come in hard. And I think if we would slow it down or make it softer, it would not recover fast enough, just... Yeah, that's very possible. I just have to hold, hold towards it, or like, hold on. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Help Tani! <laughs> You're gonna hate me. Oh god. <laughs> so I went against what you said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Only because I really wanted to load the front more and I thought because I've only got one run left before my collies. So what we did is we put it back, the low speed rebound to where it was before okay. the clear. And took some air out okay. to see what that felt like. And although like I feel like I'm able to attack a lot more, I do like it. Okay. It does feel very soft at times, okay. <laughs> but I feel like I like it to a certain extent. And then, but maybe what I should do is let air out and now make it faster again. Yeah, or just make it faster again because you've already let some air out. Yeah, that's what I mean. So leave it how it is. Yeah, exactly. Do the change that you did, but with this. Yes. Yes. So worried it's gonna feel like so different. I don't think it's gonna feel that different because with the lower air pressure going back to the slightly more open rebound, it's just gonna put it back. It does feel like that would make it better because like it feels so good when I'm like cruising and on the less aggressive stuff. It feels better on the fast stuff as well. And then as soon as it gets like into what well, lidad, whatever it's called, the slabs. Yeah, I feel way better, but I feel like, fuck, if I was to like push that little bit more, I feel like I'd get hooked up. Let's just yeah. put it back okay. and then go th run through quality <laughs> and we'll see, okay. like, once you get. It's nearly there. Good. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. No more thinking. No more thinking. Done. Okay. okay, we'll see you soon. We did drop pressure and then I had to sped rebound up to match what we were gonna do. And then she slowed rebound back down and now we sped it back up. So, kind of shot, not a shot in the dark, but like, that's the last run before qualies. 
we'll see. That's pretty good. Let's call it a day. <laughs> I think we should. How are you feeling? You get decent rest? Yeah. I wouldn't say I'm feeling 100%. Um, but yeah, yeah, definitely a lot more control. Opened up the taps a few sections, and it was like, it was going where I wanted it to. So, Getting pretty deep in the travel. Yeah, Woody was saying maybe we chuck on one more low speed compression. Yeah, maybe, let's get another, are you gonna do three? Yeah. Okay, let's get another one in and then. Okay, cool. Yeah, much happier. Okay. The plan is do another run. And then maybe firm up the fork a bit if he's feeling ready for it. It was just like, just felt too hot. You know what I mean? Even with more damping off. Yeah. Okay. So just kind of like, just riding away from me quite a lot. I liked, I liked it in the top where you kind of need the support in the corners and stuff to carry your speed. But then as soon as it got rough, it was just like, okay. I couldn't, I was like behind it, if you know what I mean? Yeah. So okay. now shock settings are exactly the same as how we left it when I last seen you. Okay, perfect. Uh, so on the softer spring and then managing fine. It feels good, yeah. Perfect. So I think it's always going to be a bit of a compromise at the moment, but yeah, I think it's better this way. I'd rather like try and ride it than it ride me, if you know what I mean. No, that's fine. As long as you're managing bottom out and it's not riding too deep, then we're good. Yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, I, d I can't remember exactly where I am on low speed, but maybe try and go in a little bit more, but compression wise. Okay. Just because I noticed it at the top then, like in those corners, it was kind of sat a bit deep, but. You want to just check now? I just feel like when I pump in, I don't get a, an awful lot out, if you know what I mean? Yeah. But then on the real rough stuff, it's, it's good because it takes in the hits. You got a lot of low speed on. Do you want to try a little bit more? I think so, yeah. Okay. See what happens. Just do a little bit and see if we can, let me just double check. Wouldn't mind slowing it down a tiny bit. It's okay. Cool, let's nice. give that a shot. All right, thanks mate. Talk I'll let you, you know soon. how it goes. Cheers mate. He's on a very firm shock tune and really closed on compression. So we tried to bump him up in spring rate yesterday and open compression, but it didn't work. And now we're kind of, I don't know, we're kind of back where we started. So I'm not, we didn't really have enough time to sort stuff out. And I'm worried we're not headed in the right direction, but we'll see. I changed a couple little things there. Just see what he gets. I'm struggling a lot with arm pump. It's pretty bad, like worse than usual. And I've felt like the fork's kind of been packing in because I've been running a pretty slow rebound. And I sped up the low speed rebound. And now it feels better to spots, but it's almost too like pogo-y. What pressure are you running right now? Uh, 77.5. And how many volume spacers? Five. Cool. We'll just shift the balance a little bit. To open up high speed, but close low speed. Okay. Because you had them pretty okay. different. Yeah. Um, See. <laughs> pressure's a bit low. Yeah, yeah. And you're definitely using full travel. Yeah, pretty pretty soft compared to the other boys, I think, yeah. So it's gonna be very front end biased. Yeah, I could try maybe some more air just to... I would. Yeah. Okay, I'll give that a shot. Cool, cool. thanks, Shorty. Right. We'll see you. Thanks, boys. Good luck. Thanks, mate. When it rains, it pours. <laughs> All right. Hey. Uh, it's not too bad, but when I hit like the cheddar stuff, I feel like the bumps add up in my fork, and I'm like, you know, it's like it's not recovering maybe quick enough. I feel like I'm getting a lot of like when I come into brake bumps, like a lot of hits in the upper body, and it makes it sometimes like harsh to 
right like controlled okay um you're definitely using all the travel yeah but that's only like in a couple spots okay good. i think that's just under the gondola on the fast but when you like jump and just land heavy it's hard to tell like some bits feel really good and like some bits i'm like Whoa. i definitely can do full run but i'd like to have maybe a little more comfort out of the bike what fork pressure 90. Do you want to try speeding low speed up a little bit and see if it helps on the chattery stuff? Just one click? Yeah. So it's on 10 now probably, is it? isn't it? Uh, or did you slow it? It's on 8, alright. Yeah. It was 7-7 seven, seven now, it's 8-7. Yeah. Alright. Well I should be used to like the faster rebound, because I had it I think on 9 before. Yeah. Maybe that helps. Cool. Totally. See ya. We changed a lot yesterday. Um, says he's feeling pretty good but a little bit rough in the super small bump, like chattery stuff. So we did, we sped rebound up a tiny bit just to see if that helps, but it might just be one of those things. I had the save of my career in those rocks. There's like a little like wedge you gotta like make it through. And I turned too hard off it. My front didn't hit it, but my rear did. And I just went right that, 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 that. But like, it wasn't one of those ones that just comes up and down. I rode it, and then it came down. It was nice. Yeah, got well, that's a pretty good thing. That wheel is kaput. Like you love it. <laughs> You're feeling a lot better than yesterday. How'd your day go, Jordy? Mm, it was okay. Nothing spectacular. Um, I think a lot of people are struggling. I'm still optimistic for tomorrow. Looking like rain starting in the evening tonight, I think. But it doesn't look too bad until later in the day. And the evening, the nighttime looks horrendous tomorrow. I'm hearing 100 mile an hour winds. Ooh. Which honestly is kind of, we've seen it at Mont Saint Anne before. There's been plenty of years where we've lost a bunch of, not us, but as a collective, we've lost tents and plenty of other things. So we'll use a little caution. If it does turn out to be a sloppy, rainy mess, is it going to be a frantic scramble to change everything? Or are people just going to run what they got? No, they'll, they should run what they got. I, and I think the only section that could be iffy is the new bit. Um, the rest is perfectly grippy and we've seen it one in the rain when it started raining halfway through we've seen it a couple times i think so the only difference is like the drag of water on tires which is obviously slower riding through wind or whatever but the track itself isn't going to be much slower so yeah there's there's no such thing as rain settings at least not in these conditions maybe if it's super thick mud you think about something but not really bikes are very different since you suck at outros do you think atherton will give us an outro today i think they would hey boys hey we've got a lovely cake for you today ah, yes. oh, cake for the boys. a cake like little rice crispy wow. thingies with goodness in them uh, little date bars and a gluten-free cake with strawberries and chocolate Dude. Just Dude, tuck into nice. yeah. You're not even going to believe this though. I'm not even here for snacks. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you want to talk to me? <laughs> Benno? Benno, come here. <laughs> I think that's how it's a good put for an outro from today. Okay, today was pretty good. The not weather was all. pretty good. Muggy. Yeah, hot. Tomorrow will be pretty bad. Yep. Um, but let's hope it's not pretty bad. Yep. And tomorrow will probably be cancelled, so it was a great week. Awesome season. Thanks, guys. Oh my God.